Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how to replace the battery on a BMW 2012 535, which is also known as F10. So here is the bed, and uh, to remove it, here are two screws that you're going to have to undo. And uh, then this whole thing lifts up, and we can get the battery exposed, and then we can remove this piece too. Okay, in my case, uh, some guy had probably yanked it out, I guess the previous owner had yanked the whole thing before removing the screw so that this thing was broken so I just lifted mine out but I'm still gonna have to remove these two to get rid of this okay so you can see I just lifted this whole thing up and the battery is exposed there is this uh, ventilating tube that you're gonna have to just unplug from this battery and you just pull it out like this and now you can remove the battery and put the new one in but the battery is basically there's this positive connector and this thing goes on top of the battery. This is the negative terminal that was on the battery. And then this is the bracket that kind of holds the battery like this. So I've already removed this and uh, these are the two bolts. So I'll be showing you how to install this backwards and uh, removing it is pretty much the same. Uh, this is the thing that holds the battery. This thing holds the battery right, right around here. So we'll be using this later on. And uh, so I already have the new battery, which we're gonna put right here. It kind of comes in and stays right over there. Okay, so this is the new battery that I got. This is the AGM 850 CCA 170RC 92AH. That is the part number. And uh, this was manufactured 1719. So, install this, we just put this down. Once you're putting the new battery, make sure you have the covers on because you don't want to short anything. This is something that goes on the side of the battery. This is like the drain. So we'll keep this on the side. You know. The battery sitting make sure the negative terminal is right here the positive is right here and uh, the very first thing you need to do is close these connect this to here which is the drain for the battery make sure, it's this make sure the battery is snug in all the way towards the left and then we're going to install this Then we're going to put this bracket on. So now this is tight and uh, now we're going to install the negative and positive terminal. So for that we're going to remove the cap first and uh, we're going to do the negative terminal at the very last but first we're going to do the positive terminal. So since this is good we're going to go ahead and install this. 
think this goes on top. I think this is a number 10. The reason you want to do negative at the very last is in case if you, while tightening and you end up touching the body, you won't burn anything, you know. If the negative's connected, then you're going to be in deep trouble. So always connect the negative at the very end. And uh, connect this. 13. Make sure it's nice and snug. And uh, this clip kind of just connects to the battery so it doesn't move. This is just the fuse box. So now this is nice and tight. And this is nice and tight. Just make sure it's not moving or anything. It's good. So now we're going to go ahead and connect our negative terminal. But before that, I want to make sure I'm ready with my wrench so now once I connect it you may get a little bit of spark which is okay and there you go nice and tight okay so since the battery is now installed uh, all you have to do is put the cover back on and then the most important part is registering the battery to your vehicle. So that is something that we're gonna be doing and I'll be showing you how to do that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to register the battery. So hoping you have this uh, connector OBD to ethernet. We're gonna not to start the engine, but turn the ignition on like this. And uh, we're gonna see connection like this. operation read out vehicle data complete identification and let this run and right now it's communicating so just give it a while okay now you're gonna see this Ethernet I'm gonna go ahead and click on this set up connection and it's gonna read out your vehicle data Give it some time. Okay, now it's going to start loading up the modules. So let it load up the modules. And you just have to be patient, guys. You know, let it do its thing. Don't, do not interrupt. Sometimes if you move this cable, it disconnects. You, you definitely don't want to do that. You know, put it somewhere so it's nice and steady. Okay, it's almost done. It's logging fault memory in case if you have one. I may have the fault memory because I removed the battery module so. Okay, just click OK if you get this. I'm just going to display the fault memory, see what it was. Function indicator defective, I don't know what that is. Okay, so we're, I'm just going to go into vehicle management. Uh, service functions. Now from here, you need to go into body. And again, give it some time because they're supposed to have a plus right here. So there you go. So under body, you should see voltage supply. Click on plus. Under voltage supply, you see battery. Click on plus. 
and register battery replacement and I'm going to click on this register battery exchange on the right hand side just double tap on that saying please wait and over here it kind of tells you brief description okay so display distance reading last battery exchange and one before last and over here it kind of shows you when was the last battery replacement was done but uh, what we need to do is uh, register battery exchange so this is the one I'm going to select and click continue okay in the next test step the battery exchange is entered engine off terminal 15 on so engine is off and my ignition is on basically okay enter battery exchange same capacitor inner battery exchange higher lower capacity change change from normal lead asset to AGM so I think mine is exact same capacity it's not higher or lower sorry my camera died all I had did was uh, click continue and then um, it did an hourglass and says battery exchange was successfully entered to register new battery size or other battery type not carry out the following Richard okay so date time of the vehicle will be set all you're doing is so it's registering today's date and time service function finished and uh, that that is it guys so basically all I did was came into register battery replacement register battery you know it says please wait Register battery extend display distance. Okay, so now I'm gonna check and see some of the information about the battery. See over here it says original battery type capacity to vehicle 90 AH. Currently registered battery capacity in the DDME is 90 amp hour AGM. Mine is 92, but 90 is fine. So guys, uh, hopefully you like the video. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.